Hello and sweaty cup, Ricky and Isan here. Just with my daughter, Daisy. She just woken up, she just had a good nap. Up early this morning, and then I had to give them a bath, but unfortunately, they have cold water, and they had an absolute tantrum. But fortunately, it's quite warm this morning, so you know, it wasn't a big deal. They're wearing these beautiful dresses that they got recently in the mail. So why did they have to have a cold shower, you may ask? Well, for whatever reason, the village water was off this morning. It's pretty rare now. When I first moved in here, it used to be every single day, there was a period of time where we had no running water. Now it's only once in a blue moon, really, um, since they got the new water tower put in. A lot of people generally get tanks put in. So behind their house, they have a great big water tank with a pump. So they've always got running water, but for whatever reason, we just never did it. So this, this is what you do in rural Thailand. This is what people do. They've generally got a big container, a big bucket. Um, a lot of the houses actually have it built in properly. And you just collect water. So when you've got no running water, this is your shower. And you just, yeah, scoop it in and have a shower. So with the, with the baby shower, I obviously fill this thing up. So it's quite cold that sits in here. And, and this gets used quite a bit actually, just with cleaning and whatnot. So the water's not sitting there forever. We do have the water up a shower with the, with the hot water system like you see all over Thailand. But yeah, all over Thailand, especially out here in Isan, this is pretty common. And a lot of people will shower like that all the time, even though they can get hot water. It's just, you know, they've grown up culturally, it's what they do. Um, not a big deal. I did, I did it for the first year, year and a half living out here until they fixed up the water so I could have a shower, a proper shower any time. But yeah, just, uh, you save up the water and that's how you shower out here in rural Thailand. What do you people reckon? I'm sure it shocked a few people. My other daughter, Lily, had an absolute fit this morning after the cold shower. We couldn't figure out why. Um, she didn't want to be held, she didn't want to lay down, she didn't want to milk, so the Thai grandmother obviously heard her screaming and came to get her. So we'll just go check on Lily and see how she's doing out here with uh, the grandmother's family. She's in a little baby hammock. She's also wearing a lovely little dress this morning. How you doing Lily? You good now? Always smiling. So she hasn't had much milk. That was on the seven when uh, grandmother took her. So she definitely didn't want her milk this morning, but she's no, she's no longer screaming. She's no longer crying. So that's, uh, that's the main thing. You good? You good now after that cold shower? Yeah? Okay. Give me a smile. <laughs> as soon as I walked away, Lily started crying. Just give her a bit of a rock and it seems to, uh, to ease her. This little kid over here, he's uh, 14 months, 14 months and he's a menace already. So, I mean, Lily and Daisy are six months old now, so it won't be long till they're running around like that. I'm gonna have two of them. So that's gonna be uh, quite interesting, isn't it? Two, two, two little daughters running around causing trouble. Usually this puts them to sleep, but she's just happy, I think, enjoying the ride. <laughs> Always smiling. There's absolute cats everywhere at the moment out here. There is, I reckon, 20 of them. And I've seen them go inside my house. Meow, 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 meow. There's another one over there too. I don't know if they're living down here. Meow, 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 meow. But there is just cats everywhere. They're just multiplying and multiplying. Where are you living, hey? Can you tell me where you're living? If I go check my car, I reckon there'll be a couple sleeping underneath my car. No mangoes in the tree at the moment. I don't know when the season kicks off, but it's got to be soon. But yeah, just cats, 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 that's all I'm seeing. You good, Lily? Grandmother gonna have a lay down next to you, I think. They've got all the, the herbs growing here, and they put up this green netting for New Year just to uh, protect the car. They uh, brought another car, the Thai brother-in-law. And they're actually selling the green one out here, so a lot of people ask me about the green one. They're selling it for a uh, 22,000, 22,000 baht, I believe. I'd buy it if it was an automatic. Brilliant little thing, I love it. Fun to get around town, but it's a manual. I don't really want to be messing around with a manual because I don't have a whole heap of experience driving a manual. And just, you know, the roads out here in Thailand, no good for me, I think. Let's have a look. Usually I've got a couple sleeping under here every single time I look. None today. 
But yeah, I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want the cats getting killed. But there's just too many around at the moment. There are a few people out here. Ladies getting some fruit or something out the tree over here. Just an average day in the village, I guess. People are out in the farm. Yeah, getting some sort of fruit out that tree. You good? You good? Yeah, you good? Your sister's good. I've uh, been hitting the bike, been hitting the bike heaps, going to get in my lunch like I said I was going to do, and I feel good. I'm feeling really good now. I'm going to just smash down these bottles. I always take care of this. I told the Thai grandmother not to worry. That's my job. Because she does a lot to help me as well, obviously. And yeah, I've got to get that cleaned and I'm going to hop on the bicycle. I've actually fixed up the wheel, my um, road bike. I've had this thing for years, fixed up the back wheel. And I cycle down to town and get my lunch and yeah, get some exercise in as well. So I'll get the bottle sorted. You can go spend some time with grandmother after I finish cleaning the bottles. Hey, you love your grandmother time, don't you? A little scratchy. And then uh, go grab some lunch. So the dishes are done. And I'll just show you with the water. So this is how, you, how I fill up the bucket. It's only just drizzling out, so I just yeah, use a shower attachment. And as you can see, the water pressure is not high enough that the water heater won't even turn on. So you have no choice right now but to have a cold shower or shower with a bucket if you want to. You want a shower? No? All right, everything's sorted. The babies are with their grandmother. I'm gonna just hop on my bike now. Got my little backpack here. All he needs is your phone, because you've got the QR. QR payment system in Thailand. It's about 10 k's into town. I'm gonna grab my lunch. I think you know what I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get my usual, if she's open. Sometimes they're shut Wednesdays, because there's a big market on, but yeah, just head into town and keep my fitness going, and just a typical day here in rural Thailand. Don't know if you can see that or even hear me, it's quite windy. But this whole field's been getting harvested by the machinery. All the sugar cane's been getting harvested for three days now. Quite a big plot they've got, still going. And we've got a full truck up here just about to take off and another truck waiting. Yeah, he's ready to go all the way to the factory down the road. What have we got up here? A bit of traffic. I'll go on the left, but the, the baby cows generally get a bit scared. Come on, carp. So we're just a little way out of the village now, and we've got these little charcoal domes. I don't know what you call them, but uh, essentially they cook up the big logs and make the charcoal. So. They do it away from the villages, which is good, because they absolutely stink. But quite a few here. Apparently it's uh, very hard work, but you can make all right money doing it. But I just don't think it's worth worth the amount of work and probably the health. The health damage is, the health damages as well, because you're breathing in a lot of smoke, aren't you? But yeah, at least they uh, pop this away from the villages. Yeah, they're on the roads. Comes a sailing. The roadworks are coming quite good out here. So I used to just have one single lane and not much of an emergency lane at all to cycle in. Now I've essentially almost got three lanes out here. You still get the old uh, pickup truck or ute. Zoom past, you're doing 130 k's an hour. But overall, all these big trucks are pretty good and they give you heaps of room. If you can cycle on roads in Australia, I think you can cycle anywhere because uh, the aggression for cyclists in Australia, it's probably the same in the UK and America, it is ridiculous. But yeah, you've got that much stuff on the roads out here in Thailand that people just respect you and give you heaps of room. You've got tractors, you've got cows, sarlings, you've got everything. So you feel so comfortable cycling these roads, even though it's, what, the second most dangerous country in the world when it comes to the road toll. so hungry so hungry and that kapow tastes like the best kapow i've ever had in my life why is that why 
Why is that? Why when you have foods when you're hungry does it taste like the greatest thing you've ever eaten? So this is like the local football field in town here and every Wednesday morning we have a market on. They're just packing up now. It starts early, it starts early and it's 11.30 and they're packing up. It's too early for me. My mum used to love coming down here on a motorbike every Wednesday morning. I'll just cycle through the front of it I'll just show you guys what it looks like. But it's just a standard little Isan morning market, I guess. One a week for this town where I am out here. Looks like we've got some fruit trees over here. And a little monument for, I think it's Yarmor, the, uh, the lady who led the army to defeat the Lao or the Burmese a long time ago in these parts of Thailand. Plenty of clothing and shoes, all sorts of things at this little market. All your typical foods, of course. Still pretty busy. But yeah, it looks like all the vendors are just packing up now. A lot of them will actually sleep out here the night before. This is like the local council building, the district office, where you got to come, you know, maybe to get paperwork or your house books ordered, stuff for your visa, and there's just a police station over here as well on the right. Still quite busy. sunglasses store over there. I reckon that was where mum got a few sunglasses from in there. Yeah, nothing too fancy, but it's alright for the local area, isn't it? Home now, and I'm tired, and that Krapau was fantastic. I don't know why, it tastes like the best Krapau I've had in my life. Let's see if I've got any running water to have a hot shower. No chance, look at that, it's a drizzle. Let's have it on. But it ain't turning on anyway, so not enough water pressure for the hot shower. Unfortunately, I'm gonna to have to tough it out. Let's go check on the uh, twins, see how they're going outside with the Thai family to finish up the video. Looks like they're sleeping. The eye is sleeping. Lily's fast asleep. Little Daisy's gonna do Facebook Live over here. So everybody's asleep out there. I wouldn't mind a, a little nap myself. I'm buggered now, to be honest. Gonna just edit this video and hopefully have a kip. That's the lifestyle out here. This is, this is why you come live in rural Thailand, that laid back lifestyle, just have a nap. Everyone's relaxed. Love it here, I love it here. Whether or not, like I've said, I wanna stay in this exact house forever, that's a different story. And we'll see what happens over time. But yeah, love it here and just laid back easy lifestyle so yeah thanks for watching another vlog guys they're doing a facebook live so they've got their own little channel going i'll uh, i'll link it in the description if anyone wants to check it out it's all in thai though on the facebook page you can check it out if you want give them support you can see the twins a lot on their lives as well and we'll see you next video guys see you later